Hi guys and welcome back to Chips Green World. The four silver birches have arrived so in today's vlog we're going to be planting trees. So without any further ado, let's get digging. Hi and welcome back to Chips Green World. I'm Chip, this is the courtyard, that's good. Flower, that's Gypsy Boy. The work, the jobs. Join us on our adventures. Let's get to work. Right guys, tree planting day. What to expect from this week's vlog? We're going to be showing you the most efficient way of digging a hole. We're going to be showing you how to plant the tree, then stake the tree and tie the tree in. So decision made, trees ordered, delivered, and today we get to plant them. So exciting, I've so missed the trees around the centre of the garden. So let's get on. So first decision to make is where you're going to be planting the trees. These are going to be planted exactly where the home oaks used to be in their pots, at equal distances around the centre ring. I've left the bricks in place they used to sit on as a template of where I'm going to be digging the holes. So that's the trees in place. Oh, a little visit from an orange tip butterfly there. They've been bobbing around all week. Didn't get any in the garden last year. Maybe it's my new trees. Let's hope they stick around. Right, so on to the planting. Let's get these bricks up first and then we'll be showing you the most efficient way of digging a hole. Obviously this will be for the newbie gardeners. You old timers out there don't need any instruction whatsoever, I am sure. So I'll be showing you this one tree being planted in real time. Then we'll speed through the other three. Right, that's the bricks up. Let's start digging. So for anyone that has stumbled across my vlog that is planting trees for the first time, this is the most efficient way I've found to dig a hole for your tree. Square hole, round peg, sums me up to a T. First step, dig two spade loads from the centre where you want your hole. Well that's not helping putting the bucket right in the way is it? I could do with a cameraman. Apply down below. Then chop down all around to the height of the spade and lever in. And do this all the way round, remembering to keep your feet well back. You don't want to be losing toes at this stage, or any stage of the process, to be honest. Keep going round until all the soil is completely loose, and then all you do is scoop it out. Simple as that. Right, I think we're about there. There's a bit of a rock in the bottom of there. Make sure you take any rocks out. You don't want them interfering with the tree rooting in. So we'll try that, give that a go. If we need to take any more out, we can just do it by hand. Ah, there we go. The bucket has been moved. Better late than never. So the hole needs to be slightly deeper. So I'm just going to scoop this out with my hands, which is extremely easy as I did all the pre-work with the spade. Right, we're ready to go. Now this is extremely exciting and terrifying all at the same time. As when you take a pot off a new planted tree, it generally loses all the soil around it. See what I mean? But don't panic, you haven't done anything wrong. It's just not been in the pot very long, therefore hasn't fully rooted. So any compost that has fell away put back in place, hold the tree upright, press in with your fingertips to make sure there's no air gaps and then start adding the topsoil. Once steady you're free to take your hands away and finish off. So it's handy at this point to have someone stood at a distance letting you know if it's level because once you pack this in it's not so easy to get it level. It's very tempting to stand on one side or the other to level it up but that's not such a good idea as it will end up compacting the soil far too much, not good for the tree. Right, so the next tip is when you're putting the topsoil on 
you want to be creating a little reservoir so build all the sides up with the soil so when it rains or when you water it directs all the water straight to the roots ensuring that your tree never dries out right i think we're all done press it all down firmly and then we can move on to the rest I will be coming back and showing you how to stake and tie this in, but we'll get the other three planted first. Let's go, let's do this. Right, now on to staking. I'm going to prune the first two foot of branches off so it doesn't get in the way of me knocking the stakes in. I will be pruning all the branches off up to waist high, but I'll do that once they're staked. Right, so place your stake at a 45 degree angle and where it passes the tree is where you will be placing the tie. Your stake should be facing into the wind and you will need someone to hold the stake for you at this point making sure that they hold the stake away from the tree so it's not interfering with the tree as you knock it in and there we go first one in right now on to the last step tying them in you want your rib section against your trunk this stops it strangling the tree and allows air to flow. Thread it through the first hole. Then the opposite way around the stake, like a figure eight. Pull it tight, pull it round. Thread it through the last hole. Then pull and twist. As simple as that. Right, now let's get the rest done and then we can get water boy out and get these watered. Here I'm just pruning off the branches from waist down and removing all the tags. There we go, all done. And here's water boy to give him a good drink. The little reservoirs are working really well. The trees should be established in no time at all. And I have to say, even though they're such small trees, they've dramatically changed the way the space feels already. So do yourself a favour, go plant a tree in your garden and watch the birds flood in. But there is one thing to be aware of if you're planting new trees in your garden can be a draw for other mysterious creatures to enter the garden. For example, you might get a visit from one of these funny things. What's that I hear you ask? 
It's been here for two days now, but they don't stay longer than two days normally, and of course it is the tree hugger. They are harmless, and they often don't stay more than two days, and they're often found around new planted trees. So don't let that put you off. Okay, that's it for this week. Hope you've enjoyed, like, subscribe, and I hope to see you next week. Bye now.